He looked at her. Then he drew a picture of a house. Let me see it, she whispered. Tom put the picture in front of her. It's nice. Draw a man, she said. Tom drew a man near the house. It was a terrible picture, but the girl liked it. You draw beautifully. I can't draw, said the girl. I can teach you after school, said Tom. Oh, thank you. What's your name? Tom asked. Becky Thatcher, I know your name. It's Tom Sawyer. That night, Tom and Sid were in bed at half past nine. Sid was soon asleep, but Tom was not. At eleven o'clock, he heard Huck meow. Meow! He dressed quickly and went out of the bedroom window. Let's go! whispered Huck. He had his dead cat. Tom and Huck walked down the dark road. They walked for about half an hour. The graveyard was on a hill. There were a lot of trees and a lot of graves. Everything was dark and scary. The wind made strange noises and dark clouds covered the moon. Evet, hikayemiz bu. Şimdi çalışalım isterseniz. En son Tom kızın yanına oturmayı başarmıştı değil mi yani? Kızın yanına oturmayı başarabilmişti. Sınıfa gelen yeni kızın yanına gidip oturuyor. He looked at her. O baktı at her. Ona. Tom ona bakıyor. Then sonra he drew. O çizdi. Ne çizmiş? A picture. Bir resim. Neyin resmi çizmiş? Of a house. Of a house. Bir ev resmini çizdi. Sonra o bir ev resmini çizdi. Kim çiziyor? Tabii ki Tom. Tom kıza bakıyor ve sonra da e, oturup ev resmini çizmeye başlıyor. Let me see it. She whispered. Let me see it. She whispered. Let izin ver. Me. Bana. See. Bakmak. İzlemek. Seyretmek artık ne dersin sen? Bakmak en iyisi burada. Neye? It. Ona. Let me see it. Bakayım bir. Yani ben de bir bakayım. Veya göreyim dersiniz değil mi? Yani ben de bir göreyim. Bakayım. Kız da bu şekilde fısıldıyor. Fısıldamak işte whisper. Whispered. O fısıldadı. Let me see it. Bakayım diyerek o fısıldadı. Tom put the picture in front of her. Tom koydu resmi in front of önüne kimin? Onun. Tom onun önüne resmi koyuyor. It's nice. Bu iyi. It is nice. Yani bu olur nice. İyi, hoş, güzel. Hangisini tercih ederseniz hepsi uygun. It's nice. Bu iyi. Bu hoş. Draw a man. Draw a man. Çiz bir adam. Yani adam çiz. Bir adam çizer misin? Tom'un çizdiği ev kızın hoşuna gidiyor. Ve bu iyi diyor. Bu hoş diyor. Şimdi de draw a man. Bir adam çiz. She said. Dedi o. Dedi. Söyledi. O. Tom drew. Bakın. Draw çizmek. Drew çizdi. Geçmiş hali yani. Irregular verbs. Düzensiz fiil. Çizmek yani. Resim çizmenin birinci hali. Draw. ikinci hali. Drew. Tom drew a man. Tom çizdi bir adam. Bir adam çizdi. Near the house. Near. Yanına. Yakınına. The house. Ev. Tom çizmiş olduğu evin yakınına bir adam çiziyor. It was a terrible picture. It was a terrible picture. O oldu bir berbat resim. Berbat bir resimdi. Yani... <gülüyor> Evin yanına adam çizmiş yani. It was a terrible picture. Berbat bir resimdi. But, fakat, but the girl, kız, fakat kız, liked it. Beğendi onu. Berbat bir resimdi. Ancak kız onu beğendi. Ve şöyle tepki veriyor. You draw beautifully. You draw beautifully. Sen çizersin güzel. Yani çok güzel resim çiziyorsun. Çok güzel resim yapıyorsun. Tabi burada çok kısmı yok da yani güzel yapıyorsun. Güzel çiziyorsun. Anlayın artık hiç fark etmez. Yani çok eklemişsiniz veya çıkartmışsınız. You draw beautifully. Güzel resim yapıyorsun. Güzel resim çiziyorsun. I can't draw. I can't draw. Ben yapamam. Can't. Yapamamak. Ne yapamamak? Kendisinden sonraki fiili her zaman etkileyecektir arkadaşlar. Draw çizmek değil mi? Ben çizemem demiş olacaksınız. Yani can't şuradaki olumsuzluk var ya yapamamak, ebilememek. Bu hep kendisinden sonraki gelen fiile anlam katıyor. Mesela bunun yerine sleep olsaydı uyumak. I can't sleep deyince ne anlama geliyor? 
ben uyuyamıyorum demiş oluyorsunuz değil mi? Veya ben uyuyamam. Kız da burada I can't draw diyor. Said the girl dedi kız. I can teach you after school said Tom. Ben ebilmek, öğretmek sana sonra okul. Yani şu ikisini yan yana alıyoruz dedik ya. Yani can sonrasını kendisinden sonraki gelen fiile anlam yüklüyor. I can teach. Ben öğretebilirim. You sana after school. Okuldan sonra ben sana öğretebilirim. Yani eğer resim yapmayı bilmiyorsan uyanık çocuk okuldan sonra sana öğretebilirim dedi Tom. Said Tom. Oh thank you. Oh teşekkür ederim diyor kız. Devamında da Tom diyor ki what's your name Tom asked. What is your name? Adın nedir? diye soru soruyor Tom. Becky Thatcher. Pentekseyle arkadaşlar. Becky Thatcher. Kızın adı soyadı Becky Thatcher. Pentekseyle söyleyeceksiniz bunu. T şeklinde. Becky Thatcher. I know your name. Ben biliyorum senin adını. Yani kız diyor Tom'a. Ben senin adını biliyorum. It is Tom Sawyer. O Tom işte Sawyer. Tom'un adının soyadını söylüyor. That night, o gece, that night, o gece, Tom and Sid were in bed at half past nine. Tom ve Sid oldu in bed, yatakta, at half past nine. Half, buçuk demek. At half, buçukta. Past, gece, nine, dokuz. Yani saat dokuzu buçuk gece veya saat dokuz buçukta Tom ve Sid yatağındaydılar. Bütün cümleyi alırsak. O gece saat 9.30'da Tom ve Sid yataktaydılar. Sid was soon asleep. Sid was soon asleep. Sid oldu yakında çok geçmeden asleep. Uykuya dalmak. Asleep. Uykuya dalmak. Yani Sid çok geçmeden uykuya daldı. But. Fakat Tom was not. Tom değildi. Sid çok geçmeden uykuya daldı ama Tom değildi. Evet. 11 o'clock he heard Huck meow. Saat 11'de at 11 o'clock saat 11'de he heard o duydu Huck meow. Huck'ın miyavladığını duydu. Huck'ın miyavladığını duyuyor. He dressed quickly. O giyindi quickly. Çabucak veya hızlıca. Hızlıca giyindi. He dressed quickly and went out. Ve went out. Dışarı çıkmak yani go out onun e, geçmiş hali went out. Dışarı çıktı. Nereden dışarıya çıktı? Of the bedroom window. Yatak odasının penceresinden dışarıya çıktı. Çabucak giyindi ve e, yatakhanesinin kendisini yatakhanesinin penceresinden dışarıya çıktı. Let's go whispered Hawk. Let's go hadi gidelim. Let's go bunu çok duymuşsunuzdur hadi gidelim diye fısıldadı Hawk. Whisper fısıldamak whispered Hawk. He had his dead cat. He had his dead cat. O sahip onun ölü kedi. Yani ölü kedisi vardı. Burada had fiilinin diğer anlamı olan var olmak anlamında ele alırsak daha mantıklı. Çünkü Türkçe en, en uygunu o. O vardı onun ölü kedisi. Yani onun ölü kedisi vardı elinde. Tom and Huck walked down the dark road. Tom ve Huck walked down. Yürüdüler. Walk down. Yürümek. Yürüyüş yapmak. Nereden yürüdüler? The dark road. Karanlık yol. Yani Tom ve Huck karanlık yolda yürüdüler. Bunu demeye çalışıyoruz burada. They walked for about half an hour. Onlar yürüdüler. They walked. Onlar yürüdüler. Ne kadar yürümüşler? For about. Civarı. Yaklaşık. For about. İşte civarında ya da yaklaşık olarak demek istediğiniz işte about and for about kullanmanız gerekiyor. Yaklaşık half yarım and bir hour saat. Yani yarım saat. Yani burada şöyle şöyle bakarsanız eğer bir saatin yarısı half yarısı yarımı yaklaşık yarım saat yürüdüler. Bunu anlamanız gerekiyor bu cümle içerisinden. The graveyard was on a hill. The graveyard, mezarlık, was, oldu. Nerede olmuş? On, üstünde, üzerinde. A hill, bir tepelik. Yani mezarlık bir tepelikteydi. Veya bir tepenin üzerindeydi. Yani mezarlık bir tepenin üzerindeydi. 
there were a lot of trees and a lot of graves. There, orada, were, vardı. Orada vardı. Türkçenin kültürünü bazı alıyoruz arkadaşlar. Yani orada oldu değil de. Türkçe'de biz böyle bir şey ifade etmeye çalıştığımız zaman var kelimesini yani var fiilini kullanmayı tercih ediyoruz. Yani orada vardı a lot of birçok birçok ya da bir sürü bir sürü ne varmış? Trees ağaçlar. Bir sürü ağaçlar vardı o tepede and ve a lot of bir sürü graves mezarlıklar mezarlar. Bir sürü ağaç ve bir sürü mezar vardı. Bunu demeye çalışıyoruz. Everything was dark and scary. Her şey. Everything. Every. Her. Thing. Şey. Yani her şey. Was. Oldu. Dark. Karanlık. And. Ve. Scary. Korkunç. Yani her şey karanlık ve korkunçtu. Dark and scary. Karanlık ve korkutucu. And yani scary. Tamam korkutucu dersek daha mantıklı burada. The wind made strange noises. The wind. Rüzgar made yaptı. Hani birincil anlamı olarak make yapmak. Onun geçmiş hali made. Ancak kendisinden sonraki gelen kelimelere baktığınız zaman nasıl tercüme yapmanız gerektiğini ondan sonra karar vermeniz gerekiyor. Devamında ne var? Strange, tuhaf, noises, sesler. Yani Türkçe'de ses yapılır mı? Yani ses çıkartılır değil mi? Yani rüzgar tuhaf sesler çıkartıyordu. Onu demeye çalışıyor burada. Rüzgar Tuhaf sesler çıkarıyordu. The wind made strange noises. And dark clouds covered the moon. Ve dark kara. Yani devamındaki kelimeye bakarsanız eğer. Clouds. Bulutlar yani kara bulutlar. Covered. Kaplamak. Yani kara bulutlar kapladı. Neyi kapladı? The moon. Ayı. Yani gökyüzündeki ayı kara bulutlar kaplıyor. Evet. Saç niye kalkıyor sürekli ya? Neyse idare edelim. Evet şimdi gelelim konuşma faslına. İsterseniz tekrar duraklatarak şöyle bir baştan aşağı okuyun. Devamında konuşma faslına geçiş yapın. Okay then let's get started. He looked at her. Then he drew a picture of a house. Right? Tom looked at her. Tom looked at the girl. And he drew a picture of a house. Who looked at the girl? Who looked at the girl? Well, yes, Tom looked at the girl. Why did he look at the girl? Why did he do this? Well, yes, Tom looked at the girl because he was in love, right? He liked the new girl in his classroom. So, again, where did he look? Where did Tom look? Yes. He looked at the new girl. What did he do after looking at the girl? What did Tom do after he looking at her? Well, yes. He started to draw a picture, right? Tom started to draw a picture. What did he draw? What did Tom draw? Well, yes, he drew a picture of a house. Did he draw a picture of a car? Did Tom draw a picture of a car? Well, no, no, he didn't, right? Tom didn't draw a picture of a car. He drew a picture of a house. Why did he draw a picture of a house? Why did Tom draw a picture of a house? Why? Why did he do this? Well, probably he was trying to impress, right? Impress, etkilemek. Tom was trying to impress her. Onu etkilemeye çalışıyordu büyük ihtimalle. Probably, muhtemelen. He was trying to impress her. Or maybe it was a bait, right? Maybe it was a bait. Bait. Do you remember what is bait? Bait neydi hatırlayın. Geçmiş bölümlerden. Bait yem demek değil mi? Hani nasıl ki çitleri boyamak için bir yem hazırlamıştı ya. Arkadaşlarına Tom. 
Ve o arkadaşlar da bu yemi yutmuştu bunun sayesinde kendisi yatıp dinlenirken onlar bütün işi yapmışlardı. Tom zeki bir çocuk bu sefer kız için bir yem hazırladı nasıl resim yaparak. It was a bait probably. Did she take that bait? Yemi yuttu mu? Did the girl take that bait? Well of course yes. She took the bait. The girl took the bait. She looked at him and uh, she whispered, let me see it, right? What did she whisper? What did the girl whisper? Well, yes, she whispered, let me see it, right? Again, who whispered? Who whispered, let me see it? Who whispered? Yes, the girl, right? The new girl In the classroom, she whispered, let me see it. What about Tom? Did he say yes or did he say no? What did he do? Well, yes, Tom put the picture in front of her, right? Where did Tom put the picture? Where did he put? Yes, he put the picture in front of her, right? Did the girl whisper, let me hear it? Did she whisper, let me hear it? Did she whisper this? Well, no. No, she didn't. She didn't whisper, let me hear it. She whispered, let me see it. Did Tom put a book in front of her? Did he put a book in front of the girl? Well, no, no, he didn't. He didn't put a book in front of the girl. He put a picture, right? Tom put the picture in front of her. Did she like it? Did the girl like the picture? Well, yes, of course, she liked the picture. She said, it's nice, draw a man, right? She said, it is nice, draw a man. Did she say, it is horrible, it is terrible, very bad? Did she say this? Well, no. No, she didn't say, uh, it is horrible, terrible, it is very bad. No, she didn't say this. She said, it is nice, right? It is good. What did the girl ask Tom to draw? Well, yes. She asked Tom to draw a man, right? She said, draw a man. Did Tom draw a man? Did he say yes and draw a man? Well, yes. He drew a man, right? He drew a man near the house. Did she ask Tom to draw a dog? Well, no, no, she didn't. She didn't ask Tom to draw a dog. She asked Tom to draw a man. Where did Tom draw a man? Where did he draw a man? Well, yes, near the house, right? Did Tom draw a woman near the house? Did he draw a woman near the house? Well, no. No, he didn't draw a woman near the house. Why didn't he draw a woman near the house? Neden e, kadın resmi çizmedi ki evin yakınında? Why didn't he draw a woman near the house? Well, because the girl, she asked Tom to draw a man. She didn't ask him to draw a woman. That's why Tom draw a man near the house. How was the picture? Resim nasıldı? How was the picture? Yes, the picture was terrible, right? It was a terrible picture. It was a terrible picture, but the girl liked it. The picture was terrible and horrible, but the girl, she liked it. So, again, did the girl like 
the picture? Did she like the picture? Well, yes. She liked the picture. Was the picture good? Was it good? Well, unfortunately, it wasn't, right? The picture wasn't good. It was terrible. What kind of picture was it? What kind of picture was it? Well, yes, it wasn't a good picture. It was a terrible picture. But how did the girl react to the picture? How did she react the picture? Resmen nasıl bir tepki verdi? Yes, she liked it, right? The picture was horrible, terrible, very bad. But she liked it. She said, oh, very nice, right? She looked at the picture and what did she say about the drawing? What did she say about this drawing? Well, yes, she said, you draw beautifully, right? She said, you draw beautifully. I can't draw. That was her reaction. Did the girl compliment the drawing? Compliment, iltifat etmek, iltifatta bulunmak. Kız resime, o çizime iltifat etti mi? Did she compliment the drawing? Well, of course, yes. She said, you draw beautifully, right? This is the compliment. She said, you're good at drawing. That was the compliment. How does she feel about her own drawing skills? How does the girl feel about her own drawing skills? Kendi çizim becerileriyle ilgili nasıl hissediyor kız? How does she feel? Well, yes, she feels like uh, she can't draw, right? She believes that she can't draw pictures like Tom draws. That's why she says, I can't draw. Who drew beautifully, according to the girl? Kıza göre kim daha uh, güzel resim çiziyor? Who drew beautifully, according to the girl? Well, yes. Tom, right? Tom drew beautifully. The girl didn't draw beautifully. And then Tom said, I can teach you after school, right? Tom said, I can teach you after school. And, and the girl, she said, oh, thank you. What did Tom offer to teach? What did he offer to teach? Well, yes. Tom offered to teach her how to draw after school, right? He offered to teach her how to draw. What about the girl? Did she accept? Did she accept this offer? Well, probably she liked this offer, right? The girl liked this offer because she said, oh, thank you, right? That means she was happy again. What was the response to Tom's offer? What was the response? Yanıt neydi? Well, yes. The response to Tom's offer was Oh, thank you. That was her response. Did Tom offer to teach her before school? Did he offer to teach her before school? Well, no. No, he didn't, right? He didn't offer to teach her before school. He offered to teach her after school. And of course, his offer was accepted, I guess. Okay. What is your name? Tom asked. Becky Thatcher. I know your name. It is Tom Sawyer. What did Tom ask? What did he ask? Well, yes. He asked her name, right? He asked the girl, what's your name? And what is her name? What is the girl's name? Well, yes, her name was 
Becky Thatcher. That was her name and surname. Becky is her name and Thatcher was her surname. Did Tom know Becky's name? Did he know her name? Well, no, he didn't know Becky's name. That's why he asked her name. What's your name? Something like that. What about Becky? Did she know Tom's name? Well, yes, she knew Tom's name and surname. She said, I know your name. It's Tom Sawyer. Okay, next. That night, Tom and Sid were in bed at half past nine. Sid was soon asleep, but Tom was not. At 11 o'clock, he heard Huck meow. Who were in bed at half past nine that night? Who were in bed? Well, yes, Tom and Sid were in bed at half past nine that night. What time were Tom and Sid in bed? What time were they in bed? Well, yes, they were in bed at half past nine. At 9.30 p.m., they were in bed. Was Sid asleep at half past nine? Was he asleep at half past nine? Well, yes, Sid was asleep at half past nine. What about Tom? Was he asleep at half past nine? Well, no. No, he wasn't asleep at half past nine. Why? Why wasn't he asleep at half past nine? Well, because he was waiting for his friend, right? He was waiting for his um, friend Huckleberry Finn because they planned to go to the graveyard at midnight. That's why he wasn't asleep. He was waiting for his friend. When did Tom hear Huck meow? When did he hear Huck meow? Well, yes, at 11 o'clock, right? At 11 o'clock, Tom heard Huck meow. Who was soon asleep? Tom or Sid? Who was soon asleep? Well, of course, Sid, right? Sid was soon asleep. Tom wasn't. What did Tom do after hearing Huck meow? What did he do? He heard Huck meow, right? And then after that, after he heard Meow, what did he do? Well, yes, he dressed quickly and went out of the bedroom window, right? Who dressed quickly? Who dressed quickly? Well, yes, Tom, right? Tom dressed quickly. How did he dress? How did Tom dress? Yes, he dressed quickly. He didn't do it slow. He did it quickly. Where did he go? Where did Tom go after dressing quickly? Well, yes, he went out, right? He went out of the bedroom window after he dressed quickly. Did he go out through the bedroom door? Did he use the door? Well, no, he didn't. He didn't use the door. Tom didn't go out through the door. He went out from the window, right? Did he leave quietly? Did Tom leave the bedroom quietly? Sessizce mi ayrıldı oradan? What do you think? Well, probably yes, right? He left the bedroom quietly. Why did he leave the bedroom quietly? Well, because 
His brother, Sid, was sleeping there, right? He didn't want him to wake up. That's why he was quiet, but he did it very quickly. Okay, let's go, whispered Huck. He had his dead cat, Tom and Huck, walk down the dark road. What did Huck whisper? What did he whisper? Well, yes, he whispered, let's go. What did Huck have? What did he have? Well, yes, he had his dead cat, right? He was still carrying his dead cat. Did Tom have his dead cat? Did he have a dead cat? Well, no, Tom didn't have a dead cat. Where did Tom and Huck walk? Where did they walk? Well, yes, they walked down the dark road, right? They walked down the dark road. Did they walk down a bright road? Aydınlık yoldan mı yürüdüler? Well, no, they didn't. They didn't walk down a bright road. They walked down the dark road. It wasn't bright. It was dark. Were there any street lights? Were there any street lights? Well, probably there weren't any street lights, right? The road was dark. They walked for about half an hour. The graveyard was on a hill. How long did they walk? How long did Tom and Huckleberry Finn walk? Well, yes, they walked for about half an hour. Where was the graveyard located? Where was the graveyard located? Where was it? Well, yes, the graveyard was on a hill, right? It was on a hill. Was the graveyard on a flat ground? Was the graveyard on flat ground? Düz bir zeminle miydi? Flat, düz. Well, no. The graveyard wasn't on flat ground. It was on a hill, right? It was on a hill and there were a lot of trees and a lot of graves. Everything was dark and scary. What was there in the graveyard? What was there in the graveyard? Well, yes, a lot of trees, right? There were a lot of trees and graves in the graveyard. Again, how many trees were there? How many trees were there in the graveyard? Well, yes, a lot of trees, right? So many, lots of trees were there in the graveyard. Was everything bright and cheerful in the graveyard? Was everything bright and cheerful in the graveyard? Well, no. Of course, it wasn't bright, it was dark, and it wasn't cheerful. On the contrary, it was scary. There was no light. They can't see the things around them. Do you think the trees and the grave, graves make the place less scary? Do you think the trees and graves make the place less scary? Daha az mı korkunç yapıyor oradaki ağaçlıklar ve mezarlıklar? Well, of course, they didn't make it less scary. They made it very scary. A lot of trees and a lot of graves. They made that place very scary. Okay. The wind made strange noises and dark clouds covered the moon. What made strange noises? 
Well, yes, the wind, right? The wind made strange noises. How did the wind sound? How did it sound? Nasıl geliyordu kulağa? Rüzgar sesi. Yes, the wind was strange. It was strange. The sound was strange. It wasn't normal. Did the wind make familiar noises or strange noises? Did the wind make familiar noises or strange noises? Familiar, tanıdık sesler mi çıkartıyor yoksa tuhaf sesler mi çıkartıyor? Well, yes, the wind made strange noises, not familiar one. The sound wasn't familiar, it was strange. What about the moon? What covered the moon? Well, yes, dark clothes covered the moon. Was the moon visible? Was it visible? Görünür müydü gökyüzünde ay? Well, no, the moon wasn't visible. The boys couldn't see the moon. Why couldn't they see the moon? Why? Well, because the dark clouds covered the moon. That's why they couldn't see the moon in the sky. It was midnight and the boys, they were going to the graveyard. And when they arrived the graveyard, the place was scary because there were a lot of trees and graves. It was dark and scary, but now dark clouds covered the moon and the boys, they will be in trouble, I guess. We will learn this in the next lesson. Evet arkadaşlar, dersi burada nokta arayalım isterseniz. Konuşma kısımlarını bol miktarda pratik yapmanızı tavsiye ederim. Seriyi beğenmeyi ve tavsiye etmeyi unutmayalım. Bir sonraki bölümde görüşmek üzere. Kendinize iyi bakın. He looked at her. Then he drew a picture of a house. Let me see it, she whispered. Tom put the picture in front of her. It's nice. Draw a man, she said. Tom drew a man near the house. It was a terrible picture, but the girl liked it. You draw beautifully. I can't draw, said the girl. I can teach you after school, said Tom. Oh, thank you. What's your name? Tom asked. Becky Thatcher, I know your name. It's Tom Sawyer. That night, Tom and Sid were in bed at half past nine. Sid was soon asleep, but Tom was not. At eleven o'clock, he heard Huck meow. Meow! He dressed quickly and went out of the bedroom window. Let's go! whispered Huck. He had his dead cat. Tom and Huck walked down the dark road. They walked for about half an hour. The graveyard was on a hill. There were a lot of trees and a lot of graves. Everything was dark and scary. The wind made strange noises and dark clouds covered the moon.